Welcome back to another episode of Mount Olympus RC. Thanks for everyone who tuned in on the last episode. We're going to continue off with more of the Evo Pro. Uh, I'm going to go over my paint job graphics scheme I've done on this. Go over the on off switch, the pins, and an experiment I'm running with the shocks. Then we're going to check out some run footage. We're going to keep it short and sweet. It's going to be a good episode. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. We've got the body. I love this paint color. It goes from, I'll call it like a rip curl, rip tide blue, changes color to purple. I don't know if the camera's catching that. It airs a little bit there. Looks really good in the sunlight. Got the gold lightning on there. Got the trident. Got my brand. I love this paint job. Uh, I'm in love with this color right now. I love this gold. It, it's just awesome. You can tell we've been running it. We've got some scuffs. That's what it's all about. I don't care that it got scuffed up. I just had a lot of fun doing it. I had a lot of fun running it. Anyways, number one, the thing that I have noticed and I wish were, I wish they sent more of were these guys. I don't mind these on an RC car. I think they look sweet, to be honest, but they only sent four. One of them fell off during a run, and the other one fell off when I was moving it around somewhere. I couldn't tell you. Um, so I had to go buy more because they only sent four. Hobby Plus, please just send some spares. Please um, make it so much nicer. Go a long way with the customers. Uh, anyways issue or item number two if you will um, here's the inside of the truck obviously for those that know stock the on off switch sits right here it's got an awesome little groove which i don't know if you can see but it's got a groove that the switch slides in i really like that it's really clean it's really well designed the thing that i had a hard time with was that when the body's on it and you're running it and let's say you're going to go run it and then go to a different location and run it there. You have to take the body off to get to the switch. I wasn't too keen on that. So I actually moved the switch. You can see it right there. Um, I just, I just glued it there temporarily. If it holds great, if not, I'll glue it again, but I can easily access that switch. You'll be able to see the red light come on inside the truck right there. Boom. I don't have to take the body off. Um, the axle does not interfere with the switch. It's not gonna hit it, it's not gonna turn it off. I'm not worried about that by a long shot. Um, yeah, other than that, I think it's great. I think it crawled really well. I, I had a run that I pitted it up against the, the Bronco. The Bronco made it up but the Evo Pro made it up easier. And I know that one of those factors is the angle of approach that this has is ridiculous. I mean, if you're going degrees, I'm pretty sure it's like whatever that degree is. I, I don't know. I don't have a degree. I don't have a thermometer <laughs> um, to tell you what degree that is. My plan with this is to run it stock for a month before I even consider doing anything to it, just to get a good feel for it, get a good review on it. Um, and then let you guys know my findings. Um, anyways, let's jump into this run footage and go from there. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, those were some sick runs. I really like that park. I filmed an earlier episode there. It's at a place called Wardle Fields. Um, I had the Vesgar out, had the Axial out. I don't even know what Jeep this is. Maybe it's a JLG, correct me if I'm wrong, whatever. Had the Bronco out, had the Evo Pro out. I mean, we just ripped around that place with the, with the splash pad being empty. It was great jumps for the Bezgar. There's killer rocks all over that place. And when it got dark, the one thing I really liked about the Bronco is it just lit it up. You can drive it. I'm hoping they make some lights for this because I really wanted, I, I like that. There's, there's a couple of events I've been to at night where the headlights have been awesome. Anyways, I said there was an experiment I was trying with the shocks. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that right now. So on the Bronco, I have got very little shock oil in here. Um, you can tell it kind of just sinks. The springs are super light. I still can't kind of figure out what's hanging up on the front, but it doesn't bug me enough to do anything about it. Um, very, very easy on the oil. It is 20 weight oil. I don't have a lot of it, maybe three to four drops in each shock. That only allows basically gravity to be the one thing that pulls that wheel down. So it's not really getting pressed into the ground by anything other than this wheel going up and gravity, which sometimes that's enough. My theory on this one, after talking to a guy I work with about why solid axles are better than independent suspension, was number one, that's gonna push it up, which if you see, that pushes that wheel down. What I've done, the experiment I'm doing on this, is I've got 12 drops of 20 weight oil in each shock. Um, you can actually tell this truck kind of bounces back up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, it's very faint. That's what I was going for. The idea behind that is, is when this wheel gets pushed up, there's more pressure in that shock pushing this wheel into the ground harder, which in theory should give me more traction. Granted, it is just a theory. That's why um, you test your hypothesis in science. Um, way to go nerdy on you guys. But anyways, that's the theory. We're gonna test it out. I'm gonna run this truck for a good while. I said a month, I might go a little longer. Um, I have been looking at some upgrades, but I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm gonna run it stock and I'm gonna do a proper review on it after a month, maybe after two months, whatever, I'll decide that eventually, but it's probably gonna be a month. Um, and I wanna give it a good, honest review because I like this thing a lot. It is solid. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you gained something from it, whether that was information, entertainment, or thanks for your time. I, I don't know. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe already, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.